But the Olympics is one reason why more people have been taking advantage of the snow here and heading to local ski resorts. And then, of course, you add to that a lot of snow, as you mentioned, and a three-day holiday weekend, and business is booming on the slopes. Brad Bell shows us just how well they're doing. With way better weather and far more snow than Sochi, on the slopes of Ski Whitetail, it is the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat, all an hour and a half from D.C. It's awesome up here. There's no complaints. While the headlines the last few weeks have all been about the misery of winter, here and at the other regional ski slopes, this has been a season to remember in a good way. Uh, it's great. I mean, we're getting more chances to come out than we did last year. The snow's in great condition. It's not icy. Katrina Gaiman is head of marketing for Whitetail. She says the lasting cold weather and frequent snowfalls have made her job easy. The Winter Olympics haven't hurt either. She says people watch and want to give it a try. Yesterday, there was a three-mile line to park, and they ran out of rental skis. For the ski industry, it's the best winter in years. We had an early opening right after Thanksgiving, which is probably the third time since the resort opened, which is unheard of, and we're loving every minute of it. Bethesda residents Paula and Ava Linton were here yesterday and came back today, kids in tow. It's been three years since we've been waiting to get some good skiing in, so it's a good winter. Well, nothing great lasts forever, and the weather forecast is not in their favor here. But you know what? They say they have enough snow on the ground that they'll be able to ski well into March. At Whitetail, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.